I'd say Colby Joel is, is someone who thrives on his creativity. I enjoy being unique. I've got many facets to like just me as a person. Obviously, I've got basketball, which I've done for like over two decades now. I've got a modeling. Give it to him, give it to him. I've got art. I'd say my journey began when I was quite young, you know, but when it came to basketball, I wasn't really interested in it. One of my friends, Reese, RIP, he, uh, he started playing basketball and I used to just hang out with him. And then once he passed, I kind of like got into it a little bit. My mentor, Mr. Thompson, he gave me a ball in the playgrounds and it kind of went from there. And then obviously for the fashion side, it's, I'd probably say it's like my mum because when I was a baby and stuff, she used to make me clothes. Even when I was like a young child as well. I feel like that creativity and that like uniqueness has kind of like been passed down into me. It was tough, man, because I've been doing it for like two decades now. So the road to getting there, especially at the beginning stages, was quite tough. Because I had a teacher say to me once, if you can't make the England team, what makes you think you can go to America? And I was kind of like, why not? Do you know what I mean? And I think that kind of sprouted uh, the why not I mentality. The biggest challenges at first was finding out that my dad passed away probably like hours before I was going to America. I kind of just zoned out and I just thought, I have to go, I've got to stick with the plan. The gaps are just two points in it, just like that, the Giants. Oh, Kofi Joseph. I've achieved so much after that in terms of representing my country, playing all around the world. My grandparents inspired me a lot, man, like more than they even know. Um, obviously coming over here as part of the Windrush generation, just leaving everything that they knew behind and just coming over here to start a new life, it's amazing. And then they brought over like, all my family members and stuff like that. Just being a part of that whole generation, I never came over, but I feel like I'm walking embodiment of it, of just being more, um, striving for more and doing the best with what you've got at the same time. And I feel like it's just, it's just something that can't be bought, it's just, it's just in it. Why not I means a lot, man. Like, it's not just mental health, it's, it's just a lot more. It's a movement, it's a vibe, it's a culture. It's real, it's me. And it's about destigmatizing mental health because a lot of people don't understand their own mental, they don't understand themselves. They put themselves down before they've even had a chance. Um, and it just becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy and I'm just here to be a part of that change and also lead by example.